Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, um, I feel like um, something ended between you and another, but... Uh, I feel like you, I feel like you're trying to resist them still. I feel like this person may be reaching out to you or messaging you um, and you may not be responding. Um, I feel like you're trying to resist them and yet in some way you feel still very drawn to this person. It's like they have a power over you. Um, you may be taking stock of a past situation. I feel in where uh, this person has lied to you. You may even feel you've lied to yourself. Um, you may... Something came out about this person or about or from this person even. Um, that uh, caused you to suddenly uh, not trust them and walk away. I feel you walked away and I feel like they keep messaging you. Yeah, because I have the message here and I have you looking at it and thinking of responding. Um, it could be that this person... Uh, wants to make a peace offering. Uh, they don't want to fight with you. They want to uh, get back together. They wanted to uh, give you an explanation or they have given you or they've written you some type of explanation. Um, a truth. Um... Maybe they've apologized. They've sent you a bunch of messages because you're not uh, answering them and they are uh, getting very, very worried. You may feel this person is not good for you um, because of what happened, like I said, but there's something about this person um, that just pulls you back every time. So I'm hearing like every time, maybe maybe you, for someone, it may not apply to all of you, but somebody, uh, this may not be the first time that you've, you know, gotten really upset and walked out. Uh, for some, not for everyone, this could be a third party because I have the devil here. Okay, it's about um, cheating, lies, deception, but um, you are trying to, uh, it's like, you know, in some way this might not be good for you, but it's like you're, you're tempted to, uh, to give this person another try and to get to the root issue because it seems to be the challenge or what is, what is challenging you. Whatever happened, it came at you by surprise. You may feel like you 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 may have tried to move on from this person and you couldn't. Because um, I, I kind of feel like you're not sure about going back, but there's something that draws you back to this person. Like it's it's like you, you're, it's like you're almost you almost got your foot through the door to go back. See, we have the uh, we have the stork, and this is um, about a birth, a change, uh, something changing, um, some type of movement, uh, even some type of delivery. So I mean. Uh, the birth of something. 
So something can be delivered to you that changes something. Yeah. So something obviously in one of these messages they send you that maybe gets your attention and makes you start wondering if you really could, you know, if you really could um, have a new beginning or start again or, or, or that if things really could get better. This Ten of Swords is like, um, it's about bringing something back from the brink of, of death or, or, or of failure. It's recuperating something, saving something, or hoping to, or wondering if, you know, if it's possible. And that is what this does for you. Some news, message. It, it gets the wheels turning. That maybe, you know, all is not lost. And so you initially walked away because of something you learned. And so you... Uh, you presumed that this person uh, or decided that this person had bad intentions and that they weren't good for you and you walked away from them and they are, they keep messaging you. And now it's like you're rethinking. You're rethinking uh, what you initially believed. Looking back over the cycle um, because of some new piece of information or news that has been brought to you. Um, so you're looking back at what caused your heartbreak. This is a, the, this Three of Swords has already happened. So this would have been what broke you up or, or what caused you to walk away because the swords have already fallen out. Um, but the heart is still bleeding. And so there's that information the page is holding here. And there you are looking at it, wondering if you can trust, uh, if you can trust in it, if you can uh, trust what it promises. Because uh, you're not yet reaching for it. Your hands are on the chair, on the... Uh, on the chair see but you do want it it's almost like she has to restrain herself that uh, that's the impression you get from uh, the way she holds herself like almost like she has to restrain herself from jumping up <laughs> grabbing it you know because um, she didn't what's holding her is is that nine of pentacles in reverse so it's like um, she had a wish and uh, she never got it you know she never got her wish. It's in the reverse. Uh, so she didn't get what she was wishing for in the past. And so she's wondering, yeah, see, on the other side of her is the three of coins in the reverse. She's wondering if they can move together, uh, move work together, um, if they can close uh, this distance between them, if there can indeed uh, be another chance you know or should she give them another chance can we wipe the slate clean and start again you're tired of being uh away from this person uh you're lonely you're missing them um and but you're not sure if you have this strength to to push this forward Okay, so whatever happened between you and them or whatever you learned in the past it feels like it's exhausted you. 
it's it's like it feels like it was something it was something big uh, enough that it just took away all your strength it made you feel weakened it had to do with a deception and so you are wondering if they're still hiding something from you so there's been this um, the trust was broken between you and you will need to rebuild that and you're wondering if you have that strength to do that to be able to uh, rebuild this and so uh, there was a conflict but um, yeah there was a conflict it, it looks like you have the the key to be able to um, free yourself or that you're going to receive the key to free yourself from whatever has uh, whatever has been uh, keeping you trapped in your mind yeah I feel like um, new information is brought to you here um, and so you must uh, decide if you are uh, are going to take uh, or accept this person's apology and give them another chance but uh, definitely I feel you're leaning in that direction but this is something you must decide but and this is the energy that you will be in, that you will be going through with this person. I don't feel that this person uh, wants to let you go. Um, and so they will keep pushing and pushing. Um, I feel until maybe that's it. Maybe you're, you're weakening. Maybe you are weakening with regards to these messages that keep coming at you because I feel like they don't give up. They keep pushing and pushing until you finally open the door and let them in. That's the energy I'm picking up here. So, um, that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.